I end up as a field engineer in Africa. And so there I am in Africa, and I don't need to tell the whole life story, but I want the, the, there's a, a footnote on this one, which is, you know, you, you can't always predict your future and keep your eyes open for things that matter. Decide to apply to business school. I'd only been on a plane once in my life prior to going to Africa, and that was to fly from San Francisco to LA. So here I am in Africa, I apply to business school. I get accepted, lo and behold, at Harvard Business School. Unbelievable. I wasn't sure where Harvard was. I was sure it wasn't in California, that was all I was sure about. And I, I learned later how I, how, you know, why I got accepted. They, they, you know, I was the only application that year from Algeria. And they sent me the, there's this test, I don't know, if foreign students, there's this test, this TOEFL test for non-English speaking students, so you have to, it's English, I aced it. I aced the puppy. <laughs> And so there I am, I'm going from Iran, Algeria to Cambridge. And, and you know, Iran, I understood construction, I understood blue collar stuff, I was very, very comfortable swearing. And end up in, in Cambridge, which was different, uh, quite a bit different. And I had to wear a coat and people called me Mr. Tierney, at least at that time at Harvard Business School. It was bizarre, but nevertheless accommodated that. And, and there are some, are some messages there because I remembered my roots. I remembered, I remembered my roots. Uh, my dad was, was a working class man, and, and he had an ideal of how to little, live a life. And I don't think he ever would have quoted these words, but this, this was a theme. And, and the theme was, you know, it's not what you have that matters, it's who you are. And who you are is a function of what you do, not what you say. Your life is a life of action. Your life will be defined by what you do at the end of your days. It won't be defined by, gosh, I wish I would have, should have, could have. And it certainly won't be defined by what's in your bank account or by what kind of house you have or what kind of car you drive. And that's, that's a value that I had when I was at Davis. It's a value that I had as a bus driver. It's a value that I had in Algeria. I'm not saying it's everybody's value, but it was my value. 